welcome back to Kara Jo Plans, where I am planning and budgeting my way through a debt payoff journey. I'm so glad you're here. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you like what you're seeing in this video, hit that like so that other people get recommended. So what we're taking a look at here is my Live Rich Planner. This was last week, and I am so excited. This turned out so gorgeous. I am absolutely in love with it. Love it. So what we're going to do is set up the next week and I have not done the personal planning pages for this week yet. Um, I like to do these a little bit like day by day, like the meal prep deciding what I'm going to eat. I'm not a big plan ahead kind of person, but I do like to keep track of my meals here and at least plan my dinners. And then my housework, I do a lot of the fly lady and I add things in as they come up. So I have not done that for this week yet. So we're going to be starting on a new weekly view. And what I have is this kit from Life in Envelopes. Look how gorgeous this is. This is called Beautiful Boy. And this is a seven by nine kit. We're gonna see how it works. So hang tight while I play with this and we'll see where it goes. Okay, so once again, I did not pre-pull stickers for this week. Um, so we're kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. So what I want to do is I want to mark off and do a little weekend banner over here. So I'm just going to take this piece of washi and put it on Saturday and Sunday. And then put the weekend sticker on there. Perfect. And then I think what I want to do is first let me see if there's anything going on this week that I need to know about nails, hair church okay so I do have a couple of point of appointments going on here so I'm gonna put these down first just so I have that time scheduled for those and I think this one will probably be a little longer so I'll put a two-hour one there And then the next thing I want to do is I want to use some of this gorgeous washi to block off my work days. And I'm trying to decide which one I want to use. I think I like this one with the blue and the little teal aqua color. I really like this. So I'll mark off. I use I like to call it like my commute half hour. And then it gives me a nice border for my work times as well. I 
I should fold my planner a little bit <laughs> during these beginning weeks because this coil is so thick. I should put some of my planner under both sides so it makes it a little more even, but I didn't do that. Uh, maybe next time. All right, and then on Thursday and Friday, with some full boxes. This is so gorgeous. I don't know where I want to put this. I'm thinking maybe on Saturday, right up at the top of the day. That is so beautiful. Hence, beautiful boy. Her son made this artwork. And if you've never shopped with Life in Envelopes before, I really recommend you do. She's making awesome kits for all kinds of different planners, um, budgeting kits, She's got a great little shop, and if you use the code CARAJO15, you can save 15% in her shop. So it's something I highly recommend doing. And I don't think I have Kid Check this week. Let me double check. Did I mark them on here? No, I don't. Okay. So then for church, I'm just going to use one of these two-hour boxes. And mark that off. And then let's see. I think I want to use some of these pretty boxes on all my work days. So they're so gorgeous. I want to just make sure that I use them. I am so excited for a fresh new year. 2020 wasn't all that bad for me. I mean, granted, whole pandemic restrictions, etc. But I have to say I'm pretty proud of all the debt that I've paid off, how much this channel has grown, and how my Etsy shop is growing. And I just really see the light at the end of the tunnel for getting free of debt and just living the way that I want to live. And I'm so excited about that. It's definitely something I've really been looking forward to for a long time. <sighs> okay. So then, oh, bottom washi for the end of the work day. Let's see. I did that dark blue at the top. Do I want to do another dark blue at the bottom? Yeah, let's do this one. It sort of kind of goes along with it. Oh, this looks shorter. Mm. Okay, so this is a little bit shorter. The pieces at the bottom are a little shorter. So I think I'll use this other dark one that's the same length. That way I can fit it on um, both sides. After I am done filming for the day, I'm going to start taking decorations down and get my house cleaned and back in order to really dive in to the fly lady for January and my cleaning routines those are one of my 2021 goals is to just really have a good solid home routine to reduce stress and time blocking is another big thing that I really want to do if I say I'm gonna work for two hours work for two hours and then be done or if I say we're gonna have family time we're gonna have family time that's just something really big that I really want to work on this year so, big goal. Now let's see. I haven't used the dark polka dots. So I'm gonna put this on Saturday. These dark polka dots here. And my morning block through lunchtime. will be there. And then the boys and I usually do something on Friday nights together. I'll say from like 8 to 10. It's kind of crazy that this hourly goes all the way to 10.30. I don't want my boys up till 11 p.m. But 8 to 10, that'll be okay. So I put that down. 
Um, okay. Got this. We got this. And then... Tuesday night's just nails. So I think for two hours I'm going to do some work. And then Wednesday night I want to do a a good bit of work Wednesday night. I am taking my insurance licensing exam soon, so studying is also something that I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to plan a little bit of study time on Monday. And then... Maybe Saturday as well. Let's do a block here on late Sunday. And then I want to mark my Sunday reset as well. Okay, so I've got a lot of blocks going on here. <laughs> um... Let's see. That's done. All right, I'm gonna save these boxes and then I'm gonna start with my script stickers and start getting some script stickers down here to kind of fill in what I got going on here. So I'm going to speed through this again, too, because I'm going to flip through the book and it's going to take a little while. So enjoy the music.
Okay, so I'm almost through some of the scripts and stuff, and I just kind of wanted to point out my washer that broke in early December should finally be getting delivered on Saturday, so I put this mounds of laundry there just to commemorate the fact that I've been putting off all non-essential laundry forever. So I have that to do. I did go to the laundromat today to wash like essentials and the kids stuff. So that got done. Um, got a lot of my work stickers on. I'm almost to the point where like pretty much everything I do has a sticker, which is kind of exciting. Um, I have a couple more that I want to make and there will be some new releases in my um, Etsy shop coming up of stickers that I use most and if there's stickers that you want me to design for you like if you have requests please let me know um, I'd be happy to fit them into my production schedule and if there's enough requests for some of them I will make them a permanent in the shop So, and I got a bunch of my Black Friday orders from Canada in, so that's what a bunch of these new stickers are. And I'm just trying to go through and see if there's anything else I need. Hockey is coming back, and I'm thinking about getting my cable back again. So that's exciting. And then finally my study stickers that I was looking for. Study. And study. Is that where I wanted that? It is now. Alright, so then the only other thing that I need is to mark my hair appointment. And surprisingly, I don't have any stickers for that. Okay, and then what was this going to be? I think that was going to be... Oh, crud. Another carriage of plan sticker. There we go. Da-da-da. Alright, so my week is pretty much set up. I am still using the Daily Duo for, like, individual tasks on each day. Um, but I love this big overview of the week kind of letting me know where I have room to get stuff fit in and whatnot so tell me what you guys think about the live rich planner and all the space and um how you think these seven by nine kits are working out I think they're working pretty well with a few small adjustments I really want to try to use up all the kits that I have before I start designing kits for this or buying eight and a half by eleven kits I just kind of want to use up what I have already. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to head on over to Life in Envelopes for 15% off in her shop. Uh, Life in Envelopes, use the code CARAJO15, and that's where this gorgeous kit came from that I will use more of throughout the week as I add stuff in. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!